Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2022 San Joaquin County Peace Officers Memorial. My name is Chuck Harris, and it's my honor to be here with you today, not only as the president of the Stockton Police Officers Association, but as a Stockton police officer. With us today, we have the family of fallen Stockton police officer Floyd Bristol, the family of Stockton Police Sergeant Timothy White, and the family of Stockton Police Officer Jimmy N. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Rest assured that your loved one's sacrifice will never be forgotten. To our local and state government representatives, allied agencies, and to members of the public who are here to show your support today, thank you so much. I would also like to acknowledge members of the San Joaquin County Fallen Peace Officers Foundation for their vision, years of fundraising, planning, and hard work that resulted in the creation of this beautiful memorial that is here before us. On April 10th, 1962, President John F. Kennedy issued Proclamation 3466, Police Week and Police Officers Memorial Day which he designated for police officers who had been killed or disabled in the line of duty. President Kennedy stated that this was being done in recognition of the contribution the police officers of America had made to civilization throughout their dedicated and selfless efforts in enforcing our laws, protecting our citizens against violence, disorder, and protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression and intimidation. These principles have not changed, and they're practiced every day, every second, in every town, in every city, by peace officers here in San Joaquin County and by peace officers across the United States of America. When President Kennedy issued Proclamation 3466 to honor those officers who had been killed or disabled in the line of duty, I'm certain he had no idea of the increased risks law enforcement would face in the year ahead. He likely didn't imagine the types of firepower law enforcement would be up against on a daily basis. President Kennedy might not have known that years in the future, while a majority of our communities would still love the police, a small number of those in communities would come out vocally in opposition of their police. President Kennedy probably didn't envision law enforcement on the front line of a worldwide pandemic as they continue to protect their communities, all while trying to stay healthy themselves and doing everything in their power not to bring an unknown, potentially deadly, deadly illness into their households that would affect their families and their loved ones. But I'll bet President Kennedy did know that you as a police officer would remain dedicated. You would remain selfless. He knew you would continue your efforts in enforcing our laws he knew you would continue protecting citizens and communities no matter what you faced. How did he know this? Because he understood that this is what police officers do. This is what our profession does. This is the only thing we know how to do because we were called to do this work, even if it means sacrificing ourselves for the safety and security of those around us. On behalf of the Stockton Police Officers Association, I salute you and I thank you for your hard work and dedication to the communities. At this time, I would ask that you please rise for the presentation of our colors. Officer!
Tiffany Swain will now sing our national anthem. Let us pray. Almighty God, you said there is no greater love than that one would lay down his life for his friends. And so, Lord, not only do we remember those who have fallen, but Lord, we remember that out of love for their community, they laid down their lives. And Lord, I thank you for all of those who are still standing here today in uniform. Lord, I thank you for those who have put their lives on the line for their friends, for the strangers, for their community, but it has not cost them their life. Lord, there is no more beautiful sight than the sight of seeing love displayed. And so, Lord, I thank you for the beauty of the sight of all of those gathered here today who have come and answered the call when you said, who will I send? They said, here I am, send me. And so, Lord, we ask that you would bless those who are gathered here today. And, Lord, bless the memory of those who have gone before us. God, I thank you that their names are literally etched in stone. And, Lord, we will never forget. But we will always see their names and appreciate the beauty of your love displayed through them. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for these gathered. We thank you for all of these in your holy name. Amen. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from At this time, I would like to ask Stockton Police Chief Jim Kraska to come up. Thank you for attending today's 2022 San Joaquin County Peace Officer Memorial. I would like to give a special thanks to the Stockton Police Officers Association for hosting and organizing this event. And to our community members, city, county, officials, chiefs, and sheriff, thank you for being here today. 
I'd also like to recognize the San Joaquin County Fallen Peace Officer Foundation for the new memorial that sits before us today and honors the brave officers of San Joaquin County who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Police work, as we know, is inherently dangerous. According to the most recent FBI statistics, there were a total of 129 officers killed in the line of duty in 2021. Of those 129, 73 officers died as a result of felonious acts. This represents a nearly 60% increase compared to the number of officers killed in 2020. To provide a comparative perspective, the number of officers attacked and killed in 2021 is the highest annual total since the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center September 11th of 2001. We must always remember peace officers are dedicated individuals that follow their calling to do this very important work, even in the face of adversity and, of course, in the face of danger. Sadly, as we all know, our Stockton Police Department lost Officer Jimmy Inn on May 11, 2021, to an ambush-style attack while Jimmy was responding to a domestic violence call. We vividly remember how Jimmy showed up every day, loving the work he did and the people he served. Jimmy's bravery, sacrifice, and commitment to this profession will never be forgotten. In today's world, there are a tremendous number of expectations for peace officers, far beyond just enforcing the law. As first responders, officers are on the forefront of addressing communities' problems. They must successfully perform these duties while remaining compassionate and ever vigilant. Thankfully, we still have those willing to answer the call and carry out the duties of this honorable profession. To all San Joaquin County officers and deputies, thank you for the job you do every single day to keep all of us safe. Additionally, we want to acknowledge our public safety partners at the Stockton Fire Department and recognize the loss of Captain Max Fortuna earlier this year. All of us are aware that providing public safety is no easy task and it can take a toll on everyone involved. So thank you to the families of our officers, deputies, and first responders. We appreciate you and know that you also help carry that heavy burden. Thank you for being the support network. And now to the reason why we're here today. We honor the names of the fallen heroes on this memorial who laid down their life for the community they served. Let us pay respect to our fallen peace officers and their families. Let us also remember the challenges our peace officers are willing to accept and endure every day. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Sheriff Pat Withrow to read the names of our county's fallen law enforcement officers. Thank you, Chief. Thank you all for being here today. Appreciate it. Let us now remember the 38 members of our law enforcement family, the law enforcement officers in San Joaquin County who have made the ultimate sacrifice. George R. Turner, Stockton PD, 1854. Henry R. Baker, Stockton Police Department, 1894. Fred E. Waxmith, Tracy Constable, 1894. Joseph Bazell, San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office, 1895. Frank Bolden, Tracy Police Department, 1915. Benjamin F. Ingram, Tracy Police Department, 1915. Richard Squires, Fish and Game Warden, 1916. Raymond Heacock, Fish and Game Warden, 1916. John L. Briscoe, Stockton Police Department, 1917. Edward P. Brennan, San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office, 1922. James A. Devine, San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office, 1926. Roderick D. Gordon, Western Pacific Railroad Police Department, 1935. James A. Raleigh, Castoria Constable, 
1936. Barney F. Phelan, Tracy Police Department, 1936. James W. Irie, Liberty Township Constable, 1937. Francis J. Murray, Stockton Police Department, 1938. Maurice W. Owen, California Highway Patrol, 1940. Edward H. Dillard, Union Township Constable, 1940. Floyd G. Wise, Tracy Police Department, 1940. Harry L. Ashley, Santa Fe Railroad Police, 1947. Floyd N. Bristol, Stockton Police Department, 1949. George Warhill, Stockton Police Department, 1960. Connie W. Proc, California Department of Correction, DVI, 1963. Donald Stewart, Escalon Police Department, 1963. Paul Stevens, Ripon Police Department, 1972. Jerry Sanders, California Department of Corrections, DVI, 1973. Nicholas P. Cicchetti, Stockton Police Department, 1978. Michael A. Coleman, San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office, 1982. Dale E. Newby, California Highway Patrol, 1982. Arthur E. Ford, Stockton Police Department, 1988. Dighton L. Little, San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office, 1989. Timothy D. White, Stockton Police Department, 1990. Arthur P. Parga, Stockton Police Department, 1993. Rick Cromwell, Lodi Police Department, 1998. Robert Wingett, Ripon PD, 2007. Scott Martin Hewell, Stockton Police Department, 2014. William Ray Schwartz, Tracy Police Department, and Mr. Schwartz passed several years back, uh, but was just uh, discovered and that he had been missed. So he's being honored this year in 2021. And Jimmy Artie in Stockton Police Department, 2021. We will now begin the presentation of the wreaths. Stockton Police Department. Escalon Police Department.
Lodi Police Department. Manteca Police Department. San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office. San Joaquin County District Attorney Investigators. San Joaquin County Probation Office. Ribbon Police Department. Tracy Police Department.
University of the Pacific Police Department. Please stand for the presentation of our flag. Officer! For the last several years, we've been very fortunate that we did not have to add any names to our memorial. This year, we were not as fortunate. We will never forget Stockton Police Officer Jimmy Inn, who paid the ultimate price on May 11, 2021. We will also never forget Tracy Police Officer William Ray Schwartz, who paid the ultimate sacrifice on August 10, 2021. Please keep the Inn family and the Schwartz family in your thoughts and your prayers as you continue on your law enforcement journey. Remember, no matter what happens, no matter what obstacle you may face, your law enforcement brothers and sisters will always be right behind you and your family will be at your side. We are stronger together. Keep pushing forward. Keep fighting the good fight. Thank you very much for joining us today. This will conclude our ceremony.